Hey everyone, welcome again to the Beauty Junkies channel and today we are going to do a review and a demo of this very popular foundation. In fact, maraming mga YouTube um, beauty vloggers ang gustong gusto tong foundation na to and locally, I know that um, one popular vlogger si Anna Kai is also a big fan of this foundation. And what is this foundation that I'm talking about? It's Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Okay, and daming nagre-request na i-review ko to guys ever since i-Instagram ko siya and that was like last year. Sorry naman, hindi ko siya na-review agad bilang sobrang busy. Plus, hinahanapan ko siya ng techniques on how to, you know, use it. Finally, in this video, I will reveal everything from um, the quality, payoff, and of course, tips and tricks on how you can work this foundation. So, if you want to know all these things, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this foundation, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, it says it's a full coverage foundation concentrate. So, it's 22 milligrams yung bote niya. And ito yung box niya, simple black and white. And at the back, it says instant full coverage, all day weightless wear. Less is more. Okay, so since sinabi nito na concentrate siya, when you say concentrate, a certain ingredient or the ingredients are twice or three times more compared to its other counterparts. Now, in the case of Marc Jacobs, it says here na um, it has double the pigments versus a regular full coverage foundation. So that's why kaya sumikat ng foundation ito is because four dots lang daw, you are completely covered. So may kita natin yan today. So what is in this box? This box contains, ayan, meron siyang pamphlet. Everything you need to know about the product is here. Tapos meron din siyang ayan, tips on how to apply. And also, yes, of course, yung bote, yung actual foundation. Now, the shade I got is called Golden Medium 44. Actually, the shade is a bit light for me, lalo na ngayon na umitim ako ng konti because I went to Sikihor just last December. But kaya naman na ayos naman siya ng um, bronzers, ng contouring powder, and my shade matching powders. Pinabili ko lang to sa Paris through my best friend. And ang hirap, baka pag sobrang itim niya, ang hirap, ang hirap ayusin ng foundation sa sobrang itim. Locally, there are resellers who are selling it at around 3000 and up. But you can also get this sa sephora.ph. Mga nasa 2.9 lang ata. Doon, I am not so sure. Okay, so packaging tayo. Packaging, ayan, pinakita ko yung box. Um, okay naman siya. Ang <laughs> masabi, black and white. Yun lang. And now, let's go to the bottle. So, this is the bottle. So, nung una, tinitwist ko siya. Sabi ko, ba't ay bumakas? Oh my God, sira ba to? But then, hello, ginaganong pala siya. Hinihila. So, this um, bottle has a separate cap. etong black cap. And inside is, ayan, itong silver na um, twisty thing na to. Ito yung second cap. And this also houses the applicator. This is what the applicator looks like. Sabi ni Mark Jacobs, innovative daw na um, applicator ito. Wow. Innovative. And there's a reason kung bakit ganito yung applicator nito because the applicator tells you exactly kung gano lang karami yung kukunin mong foundation. So, kaya nga niya sinabi dot lang and kaya rin to bilog is because in the dot mo lang talaga siya. Yung hindi ko lang talaga gusto sa packaging nito is ayan o, kita nyo, nag-smudge sa gilid. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Ba't siya nagkakaganyan? I mean, I store this naman upwards. Nakatayo lang siya all the time. Ang dami ko nang kinlear dun sa foundations ko para lang makatayo siya. Pero, ayan, as in talagang kumakapit pa rin siya. Nang, nang gigi tata, guys, yung mouth nung foundation. So, um, it's very messy and also sayang. Parang sayang yung foundation. So, ako talaga, kinukuha ko to, sinalagay ko sa mukha ko. Ta parang tatlong piso kasi per patak, no? So, dapat, tipirin natin at gamitin natin lahat ng patak ng foundation. Alright, so that's it for the packaging. Now, let us go to the quality. Mark Jacobs said, it took out all the unnecessary ingredients, katulad ng water, sa formula nito, and double the pigments instead. And that explains why bakit isang patak lang sobrang okay na yung coverage. Full coverage talaga siya. Pero, 
um, hindi niya lang nakita dito, pero kung hindi ito naalok, may kita niyo medyo nagsisettle siya ng konti because this formula also has a concoction of oils like sunflower, jojoba, uh, mimosa, yun yung mga naalala ko, para hindi naman siya um, sobrang hirap gamitin or spread. Because pigments, guys, are powder. And kapag wala siyang liquid, ayan, hindi siya kakalat ng matino on your face. That's why Marc Jacobs had to put that. And also, habang ini-spread ko siya, na-feel ko rin talaga na medyo mataas yung um, dimeticone nitong product na to. And, ayan, kakabasa ko lang, mataas nga yung dimeticone. It's second in the ingredients list. So, that gives the product um, that um, adhering power. Kasi sabi rin niya, ni Mark Jacobs sa website. 24 hours daw tong foundation na to. So, yun. It's um, the ingredient that helps the foundation stay um, longer on the skin. However, hindi lahat ng tao um, kiyang sa mga ingredients na, na may mga cone-cone sa dulo. Like silicone, dimeticone. Ayan. So, if allergic ka sa product na ito, it, this is something you have to consider bago ka nung bumili na ito. Pero kung gusto-gusto mo talaga, maghanap ka muna ng sample. Now, let us watch Golden Medium 44. So, sa mga morena dyan, mga nasa NC40 to NC42. This is um, a pretty good uh, shade to choose. So, yan. Dinot ko lang siya. And, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung gano'ng ka-pigmented tong product na to. Ayan. Isang dot lang yan, guys. Ayan. Ayan na siya. Sobrang pigmented talaga. Golden Medium 44, may pagka-medium beige siya na shade. And, ito yung kinuha ko because, um, tumingin-tingin ako sa YouTube, sabi nila, ito nga daw yung shade ko. And, nakakatakot lang na bumili nung, um, talagang exact shade mo. And also, sabi nila, nag-oxidize to ng malala. That's why I got this shade, si Golden Medium 44. Kahit NC42 ako, and pang NC40 siya. Because, ayun, nag-oxidize nga daw ng two, two, um, one to two shades darker. So, ayan, para safe tayo at hindi naman masayang yung bili ko. Now, when it comes to um, fragrance, wala. Wala siyang fragrance. Parang amoy, amoy cosmetic, amoy powder, nothing bad um, and nothing good about it. Ayan, so habang tumatagal siya, it feels a bit powdery na and ayan, medyo nag-settle na siya sa skin. Hindi na siya gaano nagbabudge. And grabe, ayan, nagbago talaga yung ano, kulay no. <laughs> nagbago talaga yung kulay netong um, likod ng hand ko. Kasi full coverage talaga siya. Okay, now, let's go to the staying power of this product. I find that this is pretty good. It stays the whole day, and lalo na dito sa normal parts of my face, like stay talaga siya. However, um, combination ako. So, yung T-zone ko, nag-oily yan, minsan malala, lalo na in the summer. Nagpa-patch siya. Yun yung hindi ko gusto. Pag bidlot ko siya, medyo may sumasamang foundation. So, medyo yun. Nega yun for me. Now, since we're talking about patchiness, I would not advise this sa mga dry yung skin because, ayan, patchy talaga. And also, yung mga maraming lines on the face, may mga wrinkles, um, magsisettle din to sa wrinkles because yun nga, dry siya. Alright, so that's it for the quick review of Marc Jacobs' Remarkable Foundation. Now, let us go to your most favorite part, the demo. Now, before you use it, shake nyo po muna. Kasi as I mentioned earlier, nag, um, parang nagsiseparate yung liquid and then yung pigments. Para hindi magbuubo yung pigments. Para mas smooth yung pahit sa skin, then you really have to shake it. Sabi sa website, four dots lang. So, one here, one here, one sa nose, and one dito. Ayan. Hindi ko nilagyan yung kabila kasi kakapala natin yan para lang makita nyo yung power nitong foundation na to. And also in this demo, gagamit tayo ng dalawang tools para malaman nyo rin kung ano yung mas okay and what I think is yung mas okay na pang spread nitong foundation na to. O, ba? Wala pa nga. Isa pa lang yan ha. Covered na siya guys. So, yan. That is the first half of my face. And in fairness, madali siya i-spread, ah. Because, kahit makapal yung pigments, and madami, it's because of the, the other extracts. Ayan. Medyo maputi talaga siya sa akin. Alright, so this is the first part. Yan. Yan yung coverage ng foundation. And mind you guys, isang patak pa lang yan. So, compare natin sa other side, ang mga chismis. And here, walang chismis. 
Now, on this side, ang gagawin ko, dadamihan ko yung um, patak at dadamihan and gagamitin ko yung aking blending sponge from Miss Bella. Dalawa. Iapat natin yan. Push natin yan. Lima na. And the nose, dalawa, here, and also here. <laughs> Ayan. Umpisa pa lang. Pangit na yung pangit na yung application. So, hindi ko na po ito tatapusin. Kitang-kita naman po ang ebidensya. Grabe po yung pagkasik niya. A blending sponge is not the best tool to use to spread this foundation. So, babalik po ako dito sa aking um, brush. Oh, tinan niyo naman guys. Ang kapal, di ba? Compared dun sa kabila. Now, it just looks really nice in here because nakakaganda tong ring light. But in person, if you follow Marc Jacobs' instruction na four dots lang, it will give you semi-full coverage. Kung medyo grave yung dark marks mo, yan, medyo mahalata pa rin siya. It's gonna peep a little through the coverage. Pero, kung dadagdagan mo na konti, like, dalawa, 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 one, 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 okay, matatakpa na siya. With this foundation, I apply para mga eight dots lang all over my face. Kasi, kapag nag-beyond, ano ka na, eight dots, kanya 12 dots, guys, my God, sobrang cakey at sobrang kapal ng foundation. And that's it. Close up tayo. And yes, that is the quick demo of Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Now, I'm just going to finish my entire makeup and I'm going to share with you another tips and tricks and also my general thoughts about this foundation. See you in a bit! Okay, I'm now going to discuss the tips and techniques when it comes to working Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Number one, since I mentioned ko na nag highlight siya ng dry patches, I highly suggest na mag-moisturize muna kayo before applying the foundation. And also, since nasabi ko rin na nagpa-patchy siya, I highly suggest na mag-primer kayo. However, I noticed na even with these techniques, nandun pa rin yung patchiness. So, I think that's one innate downside ng product. As in, nagpa-patchy talaga siya kahit anong gawin. I've read some reviews saying na ganun din yung experience nila. However, I acknowledge na baka sobrang init lang talaga dito sa Philippines and yung formula ng foundation is nagbe-break or nag-change because of the weather and siguro in colder countries that's not the case I'm not sure but in as far as I'm concerned ayun patchy talaga siya number 2 as you've seen naman kanina best na gumamit ng um, brush instead of a makeup sponge, a beauty blender, or whatever sponge when it comes to working this product. Now, pagdating sa brush, best na gamitin is the dense brush or yung makapal para makalat mo talaga lahat ng pigments because as I said, concentrated siya na foundation so yung pigments niyan madami po ubo. So you really need a, a dense brush para makalat siya. And number three, be sure to set it properly. Meron na hong mga nabasa na hindi na daw nila kailangan iset ito because it has more pigments and as I said, pigments are powder. However, hindi po yun mag-work sa Pilipinas. Guys, bilang generally oily ang skin natin and mainit talaga sa Pilipinas. So, iset nyo siya. <laughs> Baka mahulas po kasi kayo. And since meron din siyang tendency na maging cakey sa face, be sure na i-fix nyo yung foundation after setting it with powder. Fix meaning, spray a facial mist or water will also do all over your face para lang mabalik yung naturalness of the look. Because, wala ngang water tong product na to. Kaya, ayun, may tendency siyang maging ganon. And also, I think that's why water is important in foundation. Because I think it really helps keep the moisture in place, which helps your foundation look more natural. And yun lang yung aking mga tips and tricks when it comes to using Remarkable Foundation. Now, my final verdict, this foundation, is it worth the rave? Mm, I guess when it comes to the coverage, Yes, worth the rave naman siya because full coverage talaga and because it's a concentrate, ayan, itong bottle na to, siguro kahit araw-arawin ko, abutin ako ng mga 2 to 3 years dito. But if we're talking about yung overall ng product, I wouldn't say na rave-worthy siya because marami siyang issues with the formula. 
And also, the foundation is not newbie friendly. Marami akong mga nakitang vloggers na nung ginamit nila to, ang kapal agad. And then, they tried to work it. And then, some even said na, uy, okay yung foundation. Kahit na mong makapal, pero hindi talaga. So, yun. Um, I also acknowledge na it's probably their first time to use the foundation. But, ayun, tong foundation na to, hindi siya yung basta-basta na lagay and then okay na. Meron siya mga techniques na kailangan. So, it's best talaga to read blogs and to watch video reviews on how to use this one. Like this one. Would I recommend it to oily skin? Mm, hindi rin masyado kasi na-experience ko siya dito sa oily part ng face ko. Yun, nagpa-patchy siya. So, baka maging patchy din. Definitely would not recommend to those with dry skin because as I said, kahit i-moisturize mo or mag-moisturizing primer ka, nandun pa rin talaga yung patchiness. So, I think mas lalo lang itong ma-highlight yung dry patches um, on dry skin. It might dry out the skin further and ayun, it will give you that, you know, sagging, you know, old look, parang age, aged skin look. This foundation, I think, yun, okay siya sa mga taong may normal skin kasi yung wala masyadong issues. So, yes, that is all for our Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation Concentrate Review and Demo and Tips and Tricks. I hope you like this video. I hope itatutunan kayo and sana natulungan ko kayo in case um, meron kayong Marc Jacobs Foundation and you don't know how to work it, now you know how to work it. And also, if you are planning to buy it, I also hope that, you know, you got, you know, the information you needed so you will be able to work this foundation properly. Thank you for watching my video and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it if you like it as well. Don't forget to let me know your comments and your experience with this foundation kung nagamit niyo na. And don't forget to follow my social media accounts, visit my blog, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!